Praise God, everybody. This being the month of love, we are going to be tackling on the topic called the fruit of love. Now, I am going to go take you through the unconditional love of God, and my colleagues afterwards are going to expound more on the topic. Now, my name is James Kimani, and welcome to Live Series. The unconditional love of God. Now I want you to drop each and everything that you're doing right now and just give me a few minutes of your time. Let us, do a, let us start with something practical. Now I do believe that you can actually hear what I'm about to say or what I'm about to do. True. And I do believe that you can actually see what I'm about to do. Hey, And I do believe that you can also experience anything that I do say, be it offensive or be it something that is going to maybe build you up. True. So all these experiences have a technical or maybe a scientific claim towards them. But there is one thing that I want to t say, I want to summarize all these things with one word, and that is love. And now I'm going to call it the unconditional love of God. Now it is God that made sure that we all woke up today to see this bright and beautiful day. Yeah. It is God that was able, that necessitated us to be able to have something in our pockets that we could maybe buy supper or go to job and do all these things. It is God that made sure that that kind of muscle that we sometimes do not even think about that is actually functioning even this particular moment. God has been into the details, inside the details. Kabisa, hata kale kadogo kabisa ya tufikiri yangi yako, ako. Now, I hope that I have created an image that we can be able to relate with through and through this time. Now, uh, there are two things that I'm going to be talking about. So we can call them two small topics concerning what you're about to talk about today. And the first one is, Tumepewa mwa Kenya. Yes, you had it right. And the second thing is, God has given us something, or we can say someone. Someone is the best. So, for the first time, for the first thing, is we have been given a mwa Kenya. For those people maybe wana shindwa mwa Kenya ni nini? Mwa Kenya ni kale ka paper, always ingia na yo exam room. Yeah. This is like kama Christians, tumepatiwa mwa Kenya. We have been given a mwa Kenya that we should go, go and thrive in this world with. Uh, this comes from the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. Like easy vitu zolo tunatakanga easy. Zita ongezwa. That is the first thing we've been given in Kenya. There are so many things. We can talk about success, we can talk about what, we can talk about happiness, talk about love. All those things are well documented in the Bible on how to achieve them and how to get them. In the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, we see what Joshua was told. He was told that this law, make sure that this law does not depart from your mouth, meditate upon it day and night, and be careful to do that which has been said, and you shall be prosperous and successful. There are so many ways, that is just an example. There are so many scriptures that are actually in the Bible talking about our holistic view as Christians and how we need to do this thing to get this thing. And the second, the second, the, th the second thing that uh, we talked about is, or we mentioned is, we have been given a gift, and the gift, and the gift is, a, is in form of a person. Now it, it's, it's in the book of John chapter three verse sixteen, which says, "For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whomsoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life." Now imagine. God loved us so much that he exchanged someone for us all. And the someone that was exchanged with for us is still with us. He's still inside us. And he is our high priest. Now this, everything has been done with love. The ingredient is love, nothing else. The unconditional love of God. It is not about if we do that this is going to happen. It is we are loved. <laughs> Just imagine. That is how God loves us all. He has always been loving us from the very first time. And he will not stop at anything. You think maybe you have done something wrong. Or maybe you think I have done something wrong yesterday. God still loves me. And it, it is for us to make sure and to always remember that whatsoever we do, we can still run back to him. We can say ourselves, to the Jisema, and may God have done this and this and this. But I know you can forgive me and I know you have forgiven me and continue with our relationship with God because he loves us. It is that love that creates the relationship. It is that love that creates the bond. 
It is that love that makes us move. It is that love that makes us wake up. It is that love that makes us work well and interact well with our bosses and our friends in school and every single place. It is that love that keeps us alive. It is that love that has necessitated us to be who we are even up to this place. It is that love that is going to make us better people in the future. It is that love that is going to make us see those dreams and those visions that we've always been getting in life. So much more has this, this topic on love has so much weight and we need to understand it and have it in our minds and in our hearts that God loves us and has always loved us all. So I'm going to finish up on with one scripture coming from the book of Isaiah chapter 44 verse 21 that says, Remember these things, Jacob. Remember these things, Jacob. For you, Israel, are my servant. I have made you. You are my servant, Israel. I will not forget you. That's how much God loves us. My name is James Kimani and I have been glad to be with you all this time. God loves you and so do I. Enjoy the rest of your day.